I think Descript recently went through a little bit of a quiet glow up because I opened it recently and noticed all of these new tools that Descript is calling your new creative sidekick. As I started playing with them, I thought, no, I should hit record and make a whole video about this because this is pretty cool. Now, if you're new here, my name is Meredith Marsh and I'm here to help you look good, sound good and feel good on camera so that you can build your audience with ease. And I just finished my Descript video editing cheat sheet. This is a one page download. It's totally free and I will link to that down in the description. But let's dive into this some of these new AI tools that we have inside of Descript now. Let me just interject something here real quick because as soon as I stopped recording the video that you're about to watch, I learned that Descript updated their entire interface. I'm gonna come up to Descript's settings, come down to labs, new editor layout and underlord. Let's turn that on. Next, next, done. Okay, we have a new layout. Just know that if your Descript looks a little different than my Descript for the rest of this video, it's because I recorded the video just minutes before they updated the entire interface. Oh, and I'm just gonna start from the very top. This find good clips automatically identify the best moments in your videos and podcasts. I have a video here, it's 21 minutes long. This is a rough edit, it's a rough draft of a YouTube video that I published on my channel uh, like a couple of weeks ago. So we're gonna really put this to the test here and see how these new AI tools actually work. So I'm gonna come up to the top, go to Ask AI, find good clips, and find five options for clips I can pull from the script. Each clip should be around 30 seconds long. So it's basically giving us a prompt and I can just hit go and the AI is thinking. It took about five seconds maybe. So it's showing me this section here. If I say select and script, let's see. So it gave me um, five options. I think it did a pretty good job of finding good clips. Um, if I hit, so duplicate to a new composition, I could say duplicate all of these to a new composition, hit open. Now I have all these clips, these short clips in a new composition. Um, if I wanted to, I could come over to this and hit portrait and I could just come in here and like edit these, get them in the right size, in the right spot and just turn these into shorts or TikToks or reels, that is cool. I am currently using Opus Clip to do exactly, basically what Descript is doing here. And it gives me a bunch of clips between 30 and 60 seconds long and they're all vertically formatted. But the fact that Descript is doing this for you and you don't have to pay for an extra tool or software. All right, let's look at this edit for clarity. Instantly remove filler words, rambling sections, and other muddled content. Descript already kind of has something like this because you can sh you can remove filler words here, but I wonder what it means by rambling sections and other muddled content. This one might be kind of fun to use on something where I haven't done any rough cut editing at all yet. There's probably a tons of tons of mistakes. It's 21 minutes, 31 seconds long. Let's come over here and ask it to edit for clarity and we'll see what happens. A few moments later. Wow, it's scary fast. Holy cow. See how it, it crossed out where I restarted my sentences, which is a that's a big problem for me. I wonder if, uh, I feel like the Descript team is like spying on my edits and they're like, we gotta help Meredith. She keeps restarting her sentences. Okay, that's interesting. All right, so let's hit copy to a new composition. I love how everything is here, but it has just crossed out the stuff that needs to be crossed out. It didn't get rid of the empty space. It got it down from 21 minutes, 31 seconds, down to just about 18 minutes. So it really got rid of a lot of mistakes and restarts. If you were going to use Edit for Clarity, you would do this and then come up to actions and uh, shorten word gaps. And usually what I do is I, I usually say if it's a half a second or more of silence, then shorten it to a half a second. And it identified 47 spots. If I hit shorten all, it'll shorten all of them. That's a good start. I know for a lot of you who struggle with editing your YouTube videos, I mean, think about just with a few clicks, I got a pretty good rough draft without even 
hardly lifting a finger. This is pretty cool. Okay, what is the script generator? Quickly compose compelling scripts with ease. Ask AI to write. Write a script. Draft a script that's meant to be spoken out loud and recorded about video editing tips for beginners in the style of <laughs> Meredith Marsh for an audience of new video podcast creators. Hey there, welcome back to the channel, which is the worst way to open your YouTube videos, but it's not perfect, it's AI. Today I'm excited to share some valuable video editing tips for beginners who are diving into the world of creating video podcasts. Editing your videos is a crucial step in producing quality content that engages your audience and keeps them coming back for more. I guess it's in the style of me, but it's a little bit bland. Let's hit add to script. First and foremost, let's talk about choosing the right video editing software. As a beginner, it's essential to start with user-friendly tools like iMovie, Adobe Premiere Rush, Filmora. Okay, so this is like less than a minute long of a script. Still, that's cool. It's not perfect, but it is cool. Script rewriter, refine drafts and verbal musings into engaging record ready scripts. Okay, now this sounds really interesting because sometimes I find the best way for me to outline or brainstorm a video idea is by speaking it out loud. So sometimes I will go to Otter and record something into Otter, which transcribes it. And now Otter has AI, so I could say, make an outline of this. But I wonder how Descript would do. Right, so I'm gonna start a new composition and let's just pretend that what I'm pasting in here is something that I've just hit record directly into Descript. It's actually an hour long recording of me basically outlining my entire blog post workflow for after publishing a YouTube video. What I think is really cool about what Descript has done is it basically put a chat bot inside of Descript. One of the hardest things about using a chat bot, chat GPT, Claude, whatever, is knowing what to put in for the prompt. So I love that what Descript did is said, hey, we, we have a tool that we can just hit, you know, um, edit for clarity. And what it's really doing is just creating a prompt for you to use inside of Descript. But it doesn't just give you a response. When you say edit for clarity, it literally edits the project for clarity. And I just, I love how they have this set up. Uh, so this is telling me, <laughs> welcome to my workflow walkthrough where I'll show you how to transform your YouTube videos into engaging blog posts. Let's dive into a check. So we could take this and say, yeah, okay, let's replace this entire thing in the script. And now I have a three minute script from a 51 minute brainstorming session. This is really cool because honestly, thinking out loud sometimes is the best thing for me and maybe that works for you too. You could record your own thoughts, your own brainstorming directly into Descript and then have Descript turn it into an actual script. Okay, I guess I was jumping around a little bit. Let's go back up to remove retakes. Kind of did this already during the edit for clarity. Oh, it's the very top thing, remove retakes. Uh, detect and delete all the repeated takes from this recording. It does a really good job and you can really see how often I restart my sentences. Ah, oh, this is so cool. I love that. Descript has already saved me so much time in editing. And it's hard to believe that there are tools that are going to make it even faster, but the, the remove retakes is a, is a good one. Okay, so let's go to summarizer. Let's go to actions, ask AI, summarize. The script explains how to set up a YouTube podcast. Okay, so it's literally just a summary of the script. Podcast show notes, ask AI, publish show notes. Okay, it gave me a title. Oh, it gave me timestamps. Okay, I like that. That's cool. How about a YouTube description? Uh, draft a YouTube style description for this. Most of the time AI, I don't think AI does a really good job with a YouTube description. It's not as good as a human touch. And I have my own AI prompt for my YouTube descriptions, but let's see how it did. We have a title and it says, this video provides a detailed guide on how to set up a podcast on YouTube. See, it's probably a good description. It just doesn't sound very 
Interesting. All right. So what do we have next? Social post writer, auto-generate captivating copy for social media posts. Post option one, want to start a YouTube podcast, but not sure how to set it up? Check out my latest video for a step-by-step guide. I was hoping this would be like for YouTube chapters, you know, to put the clickable chapters, timestamps in your YouTube videos. It doesn't do that, but let's see what it does do. Ask AI, add chapters. So introduction to YouTube podcasting, setting up your YouTube podcast. Okay, let's hit add to script. And now our script is super organized. Ooh, I like that. Turn into blog post. Let's see how good it is at doing this. Blog post. Draft a blog post based on this script. Title would be the ultimate guide to YouTube podcasting, a step-by-step -step tutorial. Okay, I like that. Okay, not bad. Um, except it, it goes into third person. This is one of the things that drives me crazy about AI. When you ask it to create a blog post, most of the time it does it in third person. It's going like, here's a video created by this person, Meredith. So I'm going to write a blog post about the fact that Meredith made this video instead of write a blog post as if I am Meredith who made the video and I am writing this blog post using AI to write the blog post. What if we said, um, can you come up with um, three to five questions that my audience might have after watching this video? That might give me some future content ideas. Um, what are the different ways to set up a YouTube podcast? How do you submit an RSS feed? What is the difference between a playlist and a YouTube podcast? Okay. So those are some questions that someone might have where this particular video answers those questions, which wasn't really the prompt that I gave it. I can't even tell you how excited I am for Descript to save me even more time in the editing of my videos. And I want to remind you, I do have that Descript cheat sheet that I linked to you down below. It's completely free. It's a one page download. And I'm basically walking through my seven steps of how I edit my videos in Descript. Some of these AI features could just be inserted there as well. I have a whole long list of Descript tutorials and, and how-to videos planned for my channel over the next few months. So if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, please do that now. This here uh, cheat sheet that I mentioned, 